in this table, we have the price range in one row and the frequency in another. 15 pens that cost between 10 and 20 rupees were sold. 20 pens that cost between 20 and 30 rupees were sold and so on. Frequency is simply the number of times something has occurred or you can say how frequently something has occurred. And these intervals, as we can see, are continuous. The upper limit of 1 is the same as the lower limit of its next interval. We saw how we can draw a histogram for continuous class intervals. We have the x and the y axis. We have the class intervals on the x axis and the frequency on the y axis. For the interval 10 to 20, we draw a bar to represent 15 pens. For 20 to 30, we draw a bar to represent 20 pens. Observe that here there are no gaps between the bars like we had in the bar graph. In the same way, we draw bars for the remaining three intervals. We use histograms to represent class intervals. While drawing a histogram, we have the class intervals on the x-axis. While for a bar graph, we have categories. But here's something really interesting. Sometimes, we may not need to draw the entire histogram. Instead of drawing bars for the histogram, we draw something like this. Let's remove the bars and see how it looks. This just about tells you what the frequency is for a particular class interval. This is called the frequency polygon. Frequency as it represents the frequency of each class interval. And polygon as it has many sides. There are two ways to draw this and we have made two separate videos for each. Make sure you watch them.